Hey guys, I'm back, and uh, today we're going to talk about a normal day in Blitz. Here we can see a tiger who, to put context, has lost the game for us. And I would not, this story would not happen if he did not type in a couple seconds, you'll see. This whole ordeal would not have happened if he didn't type something. In a second it'll pop up. I'm sorry for all the waiting. But it's something that really pissed me off. He starts he starts calling out the rest another player on the team for doing something bad. Now, if you look, I'm playing Smasher because I haven't had a good day because I'm playing Smasher, obviously. I only play the Smasher if I start losing a lot. You can see he starts calling out the rest of the team for doing, f and he only does 400 damage. And I have this whole big chat with him, and it it just really pissed me off. This whole thing wouldn't have happened if he didn't start telling the M6 like he knew the our experimental what he knew. And I I'm gonna pull up my pictures here. And you can see all my messages with him. If I scroll to the front, there's a ton of messages and they're out of order. And in this one, he doesn't even know what tier I am. You can see in the bottom right here, he's thought I was a tier 8. And I'm saying, no, I'm a tier 7. And I did way better than all of the tier 8s. Now, in this one, he starts talking about strategy. And when you see somebody with a name like Michael Mendoza 2020, you you just know like they're they're not a very good player. And this guy is talking about the group was bad, not no knowing good strategy. And I said I blatantly called him out and said, "You sat in the back, and there were three tanks in front of us that were all one shot." And I just, at this point, I'm getting really mad just because this, I'm trying to play Smasher just to get wins, and in this one, they're uh, here. Mm, they're, sorry, these are all out of order, but I said I have to play the Smasher because people like you are on my team. I can't even win with a broken tank. And then he starts talking about killing the light tank that was behind me. And I didn't show this in the replay, but a T-54 lightweight was running away from me because I reloaded. And he's on 4 HP, so there's no chance. And he starts coming up to me saying, oh, I saved you. And I can tell this is a new player because if you look at his name. And the thing I don't like about the new player base is... This guy had 5k battles in about a month. So he's... Th he, this is probably the only thing he's doing every day. Playing this game. And I can also tell he's a beginner because he's playing the Tiger 1. And uh, that's pretty much the only tank he has. He actually has 5k games in the Tiger 1. And that amazed me. So, in the end, I'm just... I hate it. The new player base seems to always go for... Their... They always come up saying the 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 strategy because bad strategy, and in reality they don't even know strategy. And he starts comparing at the bottom here. It's hard to see, but he starts saying, "You, I'm better than you because my accuracy and my seven kills in battle." First of all, I want to address the accuracy. Your accuracy is 0.5 better than me. That doesn't make you better. That just could mean you have better RNG. Second of all, you have one 7 kill in battle and one mastery. Um, I have 50 masteries and 7 pools medals, which is 7 6 kills. So I think you should just go, like, bugger off and, like, not even compare me to that. But <laughs> I'm really laughing right now because... I'm going to pull up a replay, and in the end, we decided to 1v1, and the first game, I 1v1 him in a T28, which 
everyone can agree, is a very balanced tank. And it, he took about half my hit points, but I won't show that. I want to show you this replay. He started telling me that he wants me to play the Smasher to see who's better. And I told him I'd beat him in a tier 6. And he said, no, I want you to play the Smasher. And look. I, I don't even need to show you the text to show you how bad he is from this replay. It, it just amazes me. I told him I gave him a chance. I wanted to beat him in a tier 6 because I knew I could. But now I said, you die now, no mercy. Now, I had my friend spectating. He was going to be spectating on my team because we were going to platoon after. But the thing I like to do with the Smasher is I always go on this far right side. Because if I don't see anybody immediately down the corner, I go to the right. Because if there's somebody rushing a bit. And look, as I come around here, he's just out in the open. I hit him with a heat shell. And I back up. Now, you might think that this is just like a person who... I, I just saw and it was an easy shot but this now this is what I really started realizing he's a horrible player because I come right here and you know what he's doing he's capping the base and he doesn't even expect me to come around I just shoot a heat shell into his side and he starts trying to cover himself and he's a one shot and at this point I just started uncontrollably laughing because of how bad he was and I just, the moral and one thing I want to get across is that I'm really starting to not like the new player base that's coming in because all the new player base is caring about is that they have an easy Rezanize. Most of the new players I see have an easy Rezanize in a tier 3 tank. And they compare that and say, since I have a seven kill medal and you don't, that, that it automatically makes me better than you. And they'll search for the tiniest detail, like 0.5 accuracy better. And it's just one thing I don't like, but I was just really having a good laugh because I can tell this guy was just, he was trying his hardest to come across better. And <laughs> It's it's just, this happens every day in Blitz, and I just like to have a good laugh about it, because I can sit there and, I don't like to rage at people, I like to troll them, and that almost generates a better response, so, um, in the future, if this happens to you, if you start trolling somebody in the chat, send it to me, and send it to me on my Discord, and I'll make another episode.